Hello, Chef Paul Michael, and we want all the smoke podcast. We have a new uh, episodes we're doing. We're bringing to you guys. It's called cigars, and bourbon. We're gonna review bourbons, sip on some nice bourbons, go over some comments, see what bourbons is out there, see what's new, see if we can get our hands on some allocated bourbons. See if it's even worth buying some allocated bourbons nowadays. But, hey, come along for the ride. We want all the smoke. Bourbon and cigars. So I'm just sitting here in our podcast cave, the watch cave, where the bourbon collection is kept. Uh, We're going to sit back and sip on some bourbon tonight. We're going to talk about something. We're going to crack a new bottle tonight and actually go over it and see what it is, how we taste it, and see what it do. We got a couple nice bottles out here that we can definitely go over tonight. I'm thinking about me probably, uh, yeah, there's a lot of bottles out here. There's a lot of bottles up there. So we're going to see what we're going to tip on tonight. But first things first, let me cut this cigar, get comfortable, come along with the ride. Bourbon and Cigars, we went on the Smoke Podcast. Hi, right, my cigar's cut. I'm going to light this thing up. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing good, you know. It's a nice September 9th, September 9th, 2022. It's a nice day. Weather's nice out here in Jersey. Where you from, hopefully. Well, here we want to smoke bourbon and cigars. We try to sit back and taste a couple different bourbons we got going on. Uh, last episode, we did talk about Uncle Nearest. Great bourbon, you already see. <clears throat> we drank a lot of this Uncle Nearest. Let's go get some more. I'm gonna try the 1856 next, and probably the 1820, bring them both home just to have them on the shelf. But like I said, so we drink all the bourbons, so we leave some clothes, so we collect them. What are we doing with them? I like the taste. I like to try different ones. But since we drank on this one last time, let's try something different this time. Uh, I mean, everybody knows it's different bourbons out there. Like you got single barrel, you got bond and bottled, you got bottled and bond, excuse me. You know we're gonna do this? Uh, since, you know, we're gonna figure something out. I said, we're gonna try Great Jones. It's a straight bourbon whiskey. Uh, this is actually a New York distillery. Since we in Jersey, I said tonight, let's try this, this uh, Great Jones. You know what I mean? We already tried the uh, Uncle Nearest. This is only our second. This is only our second episode about bourbon and cigars on We Want on the Smoke podcast. So tonight we're gonna try Great Jones. Uh, let's see, Great Jones. Uh, we are sitting at a 43% alcohol by volume. Uh, it's 86 proof. This is bottled and distributed out of New York. Great Jones is a, uh, we're gonna find out some more information, see how long these folks have been around. If you know how long they've been around, you know, leave a comment. We're gonna take this one out. Brand new bottle, try it out, see what it's about. Uh, so let me crack this open. Let's try this Jones, crack it open, you know, cork top. Uh, get a better smell in the glass, you know, let it open up. Jones, Great Jones Bourbon out of New York. Smell like that. You're getting a caramel, a toasted, like a roasted. See, I like to spin it on the sides and get the alcohol on it to get some of that. It's not that. It's a sweet smell. Nice color. Nice color. Could be a little better in the color. With nice color. The smell is. I'm getting a lot of alcohol over here. Alcohol. I'm getting a lot of alcohol. Let's let it, you know, let it, let it sit down and let it settle a little. A lot of caramel, but a lot of alcohol. But it's only 86%. 
proof. I mean, excuse me, 80 proof. Excuse me, excuse me. 80 proof, 43% alcohol value. Let's see what it do. Let's try it out. It's, oh, you know how they say you got, you ever can really tell on the first taste, you know? Let your, let your palate over, you know, let it sit a minute. But I mean, it, it's a little alcohol. It's a low, it's a low alcohol overbearing to me. But let me try, I'm not jumping the gun just yet. Let me let the alcohol sit, let it, let it open up a little, try it again. But this is the Great Jones Bourbon out of New York. Actually, maybe the cigar tastes a little better. There you go. But uh, this is the Great Jones Bourbon out of New York. We're gonna let you know about it. Try it again, guys. I mean, everybody, if you like bourbon, I do. Let's try. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great. But it's not bad. This can be a. Uh, I can consider this one a like a after work regular weekday drinker. Not too special, you know. Get off work. Nah, I don't feel like busting a good bottle open. Go with some bones. Go with some great Jones. It's not that bad. Now the question tonight is. Should you open every bottle on your bar or in your collection? Well, you see, uh, my collection, we just started out about 50 bottles. We got some nice ones. We got some rare ones, I think. We're getting some new ones in. We buy a bottle. We get about two bottles a week, different, you know, different ones. If we see something that's actually worth buying. Then I also do a cheap bourbon once a week. I buy a cheap bourbon once a week. Last week, we bought, uh, This was the cheap bourbon last week. We got the old, uh, old overhaul, hundred proof. Got this bad boy for fourteen bucks. But this is one of the oldest. I don't want to say distilleries, but oldest. Uh, yeah, maybe oldest single distillery in Pennsylvania. It was born in PA and uh, made in Kentucky. So the guy overhaul. I mean, fourteen dollar buy, hundred proof. I ain't crack it yet. We probably do this tasting on our cheap episode. But yeah, why not? $14 bottle, man. 100 proof. Great pickup. Old overhaul. Great pickup. So, how do you feel about opening every bottle in your collection? Or we just leave it? Like me, I think, I mean, like, I it's certain bottles I wouldn't open because a lot of bottles out there, it's hard to find. You know, like if I had a, a, a Blanton's right now, I'm looking to get a Blanton's. I got my hands out and I'm just getting that because everybody's out of Blanton's. I don't know if it's even worth getting the Blanton's, but I'm gonna get a Blanton's. Let me get a little horse in here too. So I'm gonna find me a Blanton's and hopefully when I do find one, I can probably get two so I can open one and open one and actually just keep one in the collection. Uh, but let's try the Great Jones again. not that bad. It really not. It's not that bad. It's getting a little sweeter now. I mean, because when you open it up in the air, you know, it does breathe a little. Uh, so uh, how you guys feel about that? I'll leave it in the comments. I mean, what new bottle did you pick up? I mean, we're going to go bottle hunting. We're going to take you guys bottle hunting with me one day. We're going to do a whole bottle hunting thing. Try to get some allocated bottles. Uh, I did pick this one up. I got this one. I picked this guy up recently. I don't know if you guys do the Del Moore. It's a Del Moore 12 year. I picked him up. I got a good price on this too. $49. I, couldn't, I was surprised. Got this in Vegas. Yeah. Del, Del Moore. Pretty nice. I do actually like him. It's not that bad. I mean, it's, it's starting to actually open up to me a little bit. You know? When I first had some, it was a little alcohol -y. It was a little... Uh, a little alcohol, it hit me, you know, a little alcohol. 
But now it's starting to uh, open up a little more. So we actually, if you folks just tuning in, this is the Great Jones bourbon out of New York we're trying today. It's uh, got a nice caramel note. It's pretty decent. It goes good with this cigar too. But uh, so uh, well, we're back to it. Uh, so what, what bottles are you trying looking for? What bottles do you have? Uh, what are you thinking about getting? What should I get? Is there certain bottles that I should get? I mean, uh, I definitely give you guys a little light tour of the collection. That's not a problem. You tell me what you like in my collection. Is my collection bogus? Is it doing all right? Am I on the right path? I mean, I'm open to suggestions. Not at all. I'm new to this bourbon thing. Probably about a year in. Uh, I've been drinking bourbon. I mean, I, I never collected it before. But I also, I drink it a lot. So that's not, you know, it's not, not a new taste to me. But now I'm really just really tasting them all, trying to really understand them, and going on distillery tours. And uh, guys, this is an expensive hobby. So you might not want to open every box. Because I mean, open 50 bottles, like the collection I said, I got about 50 bottles. To having 50 bottles open, I don't think that's kind of, you know, smart. I mean, you drink what you can. Plus, you know, it's an expensive hobby. Plus, you don't want to drink alcohol every day. I mean, we don't want to turn to alcoholics. You know, I mean, it's not healthy for you to drink alcohol every day. You know, so I don't think me personally, keep bottles, a couple good bottles locked up and closed up and not open at all. You know, just collect your bottles, you know. Some of these bottles will be allocated. Next thing you know, you say you got a $40 bottle, damn thing worth $200 in two years. You never know. But you drink them, you're gone. <laughs> but I'm not saying, hey, <laughs> to each his own. Drink up, man. Drink it up. I mean, awesome. So uh, if you like bourbon and you want to help me out, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Follow us. We want all the smoke podcast. We are here. We're looking for followers. We're looking for content. We're looking for comments. We're new to this, but we're true to this. We stay in focus for you guys. We want all the smoke podcast. Bourbon and cigars.